Welcome to the Marley Bird YouTube channel brought to you by Red Heart Yarns. In this video, you are going to learn more about section three of the textured triangle shawl knit along, which is the spring knit along for 2017. And we're creating this wonderful shawl. By this point, you have completed section one and section two, and we're getting ready to start section three. So let's take a look. As we look down here at the shawl that is completed, we have section one, which was completed right here where we did a bunch of stockinette. Section two, which we completed last week, combined some garter stitch rows and three sections of lace and then some garter stitch rows. So this section right here was section two. As we move along and we look at section three, we are now going to combine the stockinette, the garter, the lace, the garter, and the stockinette. So in reality, for section three, there's nothing really new for you to learn because you already know how to do all of the stitches, right? I mean, this is, this is as easy as it gets. We know how to knit. We know how to purl. We know how to read our pattern. We know how to do lace on our wrong side, and we know how to create our yarn overs so that way they lay on our needle without the extra yarn when we're going to work into a stitch that's part of the pearl family. We know how to do all of these things, which is fantastic. So section three is going to take you no time. So all of you that are part of the Facebook group, you're going to be like, oh my good golly, I could finish this thing up in no time. How do I get done with this and wait till next week's video? I'm going to be so tense. Well, um, can I suggest that you start another shawl. <laughs> Maybe you just make another one of these shawls or if you didn't make the garter stitch um, shawl from the last year's knit along, go ahead and start that one. Give it a try. There's just opportunities for you to finish section three and then maybe go on, start something else, finish some work in progress, do what you want to do. But the point is it's not going to take you very long. I do want you to take a look at the line by line instructions and let's just gander at these. I know this is really small on camera. I'm I'm doing my best to make it as visible as possible. The best thing for you to do is to print off the instructions using the landscape format and you'll be able to follow along with me. You'll see here that this is the end of section two where we finished off. So that's where we ended. And the next thing we have to do is right here for section three. And when we start off with section three, you immediately can see that we are going back into the same pattern that we used for section one because we're creating that stockinette stitch, remember? Right here, we're creating this stockinette stitch. So on our right side rows, we're going to do our increases, our four increases, one at the beginning, two at the middle, one at the end. And on our wrong side rows, we will knit two stitches, purl all the way across to the last stitches and knit those. We do that for several rows. Actually, we do that until we get to row 57. When we get to row 57, you can see in the chart whether you're doing it as written in the pattern or as written as I showed you in the video that by the time you get to row 57, we're on a wrong side row and we will knit all of the stitches with the exception of the center two stitches where we purl and then knit to the end. And that creates our garter ridge. That's what we want. And you already know how to do that because we did that in section two. You can see by following the chart that we do the garter stitch back to back. So we're gonna get the garter stitch ridge that's twice. And then we're back to our lovely lace and I have color coded it to yellow once again to kind of be that hey check it out we're gonna do something special and you do it on the wrong side and as long as you follow all the tips and tricks I taught you in section two's video you will be just fine you can see past that we go right into the garter stitch ridge again and then we go right into the purl and knits um, to get our stock net so once again you know how to complete everything for section three already if you need reminders or you need a review go ahead and check out section one and section section two's videos. You can figure out everything you need from there. I know this is a quick video and there's no knitting that's going on, but I really don't have anything new to show you for this one. But here's the great thing. 
Once you finish section three, we move on to section four, which is the last week of the knit along. I will have something new to show you then because I want to make sure to show you a really great bind off technique that will help you fall in love with your shawl. I am looking forward to seeing all of your progress as this week goes along in the Facebook group. If you do share on social media, make sure you use hashtag MarleyBirdKAL because that's a great way for me to be able to find where you are linking up about this wonderful pattern. Now, go out there, do section three of your shawl, and I will talk to you guys soon. Don't forget to smash that like button. Bye.